Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today in this video we're going to revisit and recap on the VIX for rapid hair growth and itchy scalp treatment. Now I recorded this video about maybe five or six months ago and you guys still have a lot of questions about using the product and why we're using the product. So I know I didn't give you an explanation on how to use it in my second video. I guess I kind of assumed that you would watch my first video or just assume um, that you would just apply the product to your scalp like regular hair grease. But that's it. Nothing fancy, nothing, uh, you know, crazy. You just dip your finger in and apply it directly to the scalp. Now, a lot of you wanted to know, like, do you wash it out or do you leave it in? Now, from experience with using the product, at this point, I'm going to have to say wash it out, especially if you're relaxed like me. If you don't wash it out, you just let it sit, it just builds up and it becomes harder to wash out your hair once you do um, wash your hair because it leaves like a filmy type residue on your hair and it makes it harder for the relaxer to process your hair. So uh, yes, if you're natural though and if you want to let it stay in, you can definitely do that, but just know it is a bit time consuming trying to wash the stuff out of your hair. It is really, really hard to get out, but leaving it in is totally an option. But nowadays, I just like to put it on my scalp right before I shampoo, and that works for me. And if I'm experiencing a whole lot of itching, because we all know that I wear my hair plaited up under my um, my wigs and if I'm having like real bad itching I will go ahead and apply some to that area that's causing um, problems so yeah. as far as this product causing severe like scalp issues or like harming you in any kind of way I mean come on people this is Vicks Paper Up I don't think it's going to just totally totally kill you because I don't think it'll be on shelves in Walmart in our popular drugstores to be used on our faces and our chest and in and around our nose if it would be you know something that would just kill us though recently I did hear from a friend who told me that they were using it and they have already have like bad sinus issues so she slept with this on her head overnight for maybe one or two nights and it caused her sinuses to drain into her ear. So with that being said, I guess you kind of need to know yourself before you use something like this as a treatment. And I know that sometimes we as YouTubers can make things and these little beauty hacks sound really, really good. But like I said, know yourself before you try something like this. Though it may work for me, it may not work for you and it may have like negative effects on you so just kind of know your health know your scalp know yourself before you just grab something and do it now like I said I'm still using it I'm not telling you to stop using it if you're already using it because I'm a big fan of the treatment it does stop itching and it does promote hair growth it does now note that not everybody's hair grows the same okay so just because it makes my hair grow or the next person's hair grow down in the comments, it may or may not work for you, but it's definitely worth a shot being that it's maybe $5 or less for something like this and it actually works. And there are a lot of cultures that use Vicks Vapor Rug for everything. It's like a staple in some households. If you have a burn, oh, put some Vicks on it. Not feeling well, you can't breathe, put a little Vicks in your nose, put some Vicks on your chest. You got some itchy scalp, put some Vicks on it. You know, it's good for a lot of stuff. And I like to use it under my waist trainer before I work out or doing my workouts because I like the extra sweat that it produces, okay? So, yeah, you just kind of have to pick your battles with these YouTube hacks. I'm still a firm believer in the Vicks Vapor Rub treatment. It's definitely something that I'm going to keep around and continue to use because it's affordable and it keeps my hair and scalp from itching, especially when my hair is braided and under my wigs, you know. But, yeah, just have to know yourself, though there have been studies 
that show that it's totally okay to use on your scalp but those studies just go back to studying the scalp itself not giving you or telling you about the consequences that could happen if you have sinuses real bad sinuses and maybe sinuses that could drain or might drain so yeah so let that be an example to you so if you have sinus issues I wouldn't go to bed with it overnight or just let this stay on the head for long periods of time because you don't want um, your sinuses draining into your ears because she said that was very very painful but yes guys I just thought I'd recap and let you know of the current situation that was brought to my attention I just felt like that was something I felt obligated to tell you since I have been advocating uh, the use of this on your scalp. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have not. Leave a comment below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!